Hey everybody, welcome to Friday Share. I was asked to share today because this is my last day as youth director. I feel like I'm in kind of an interesting um, or unique situation because this has been my church family since I was in the youth group and growing up. And so this is not goodbye. Um, it was, it, it's kind of cool because the youth that are in the group now, these are the kids that I saw be baptized and I taught at Vacation Bible School and I babysat in their homes. So I don't feel like I'm saying goodbye because I will continue to be part of their church family and faith journey as we go forward. What I am sad about is that we cannot be together still. And I haven't got to see the youth in person in so long. Everything was different. Youth Sunday, no mon treat. Um, so nothing was like it should have been. So um, I'm starting my career as a school counselor. And as part of my Friday share, I wanted to show you guys my office. And I wanted to read a book that kind of goes along with um, how I've been feeling about being apart during this time. But first, I'll give you a little, a little sneak peek. So this is my office. Um, I don't know how to flip it around. So here's my bookshelves and some little areas for kids to hang out and play. This mailbox is for kids if they want to refer themselves to the counselor. Um, I have an emotions poster that is, they're the ABCs of emotions. Um, it's backwards, but um, it says we can weather anything together. And I did some little weather things here. Um, my check-in number line to see how people are feeling or how big their problem is, is um, weather themed as well. So I've had a lot of fun, been busy in my office. I've also been going through all of my, my counseling library books and picking out and categorizing them. And so the one I wanted to share with you guys today is The Invisible String. And some of you might have read it before, but um, I'm gonna read it to you today. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried as they ran out to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string, Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, mom said. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean? Asked Jeremy. Yes, mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber, even there. A dancer in France, even there. A jungle explorer, even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. 
Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep. Even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside, as they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. The end. So I am tugging at the heartstrings that connect us all to all of our church people, all of our church family. I love you guys and I hope to see you soon.